Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the old stream farm. We have uh, something to finish off today. I'm just going to put this here because, uh, yeah, we have a contract that we were doing last time. We just need to pick up the last few bales, get them delivered. Uh, and then we're going to uh, look at getting the animals uh, onto the farm. So we're going to look at getting some sheep and some chickens today we've got uh hopefully we're gonna have some feed for the sheep uh because this contract should give us that uh and the feed for the chickens unfortunately is we've not had a harvest uh we're going to have to go and get those ourselves uh and uh get the grain to feed that ourselves so that's going to cost us a little bit but should be okay uh we've got our front loader on our tractor back at the yard what we don't have really is a trailer to transport it with so we might have to get a small trailer or something now i need to work out how many bales we've got here because we only want to deliver 80 percent of these and i think we ended up with 18 bales last time uh, which hopefully means we should have just a single trailer full to deliver. And get onto here. And then the rest should be able to come back to ours. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, I think it's 16. This trailer holds 14. So, 80% of this would be oh, uh, probably about 14 bales, I think. All of, uh, of 10 would be... Oh, it's too much to work out in my head. I'll see how full this is, see where we get to. But, uh, yeah, I think we want to deliver everything on here and then hopefully it'll be left with enough for ourselves afterwards one more bale to collect can i squeeze in the tree line here and get this yep there we go and that is a full trailer's worth so there are five bales left on this field that's pretty good uh, we'll see how much of the contract this completes one two three four five yes uh, so 19 bales. I don't think this is going to be uh, enough to complete the contract. Uh, we want to take this, though, down this way. And we're going to drop it off. I think it's at the barn at the top. We'll go and have a look and see where we can get to. Oh, this map does have cars traveling down these narrow roads. Oh, some very... Yeah. I'll have to get off the road for a moment. There we go. Uh, but it should be just up the top here. I just have to sort of pull over when I have a car coming the other way. Make sure we get out of the way. Wow. Uh, across the railway line and then into the area on the far side. Now this should take us, I think we get 13,000 for this if I remember correctly. So we should get a nice little amount of cash. That is not where I want to put this, though. Must be a little further round our entrance to here. Yeah. Round and down here and into the animal area. Exactly where I would expect to be dropping these off. Not the barn, as I originally thought, but... Down at the animal market. Bring this round. And 14 bales on the back of the Sarkuzan. Let's see what percentage of the contract this does. If this does all the contract, that would be fantastic. Uh, that would give us five bales to get the sheep started with. It is going to give us... Finished! all five bales 585 pound in sold bales let's see how much hay bales are worth uh, five, uh 100 so they're three and a half uh i think 
Yeah. I think that's like half a bale. So that is fantastic. That gives us a nice little uh, amount of bales to get back to our farm. So we'll go and grab those and transport them back. So it turns out that actually I miscounted. And we have six bales left over on the field that we have for our own use or to sell. Uh, not much use for us to sell. So what I'm going to do is drop them off back in the farm. It's probably a narrower way to come, but never mind. Uh, I'm going to try and drop them off so that we can get them into the shed here fairly easily. Don't think my trailer will actually fit under there. But we should be able to get fairly close. Maybe, if we're lucky. I'm not going to fully back it in until... Yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah, we're not going to get the... Uh, the stacker um into there but what i can do is drop these bales off here oh we actually have a shed we have a shed for this let's go use that instead over here a nice easy shed that should allow us to drop these off inside it like this See? line that up Back it up. And then we just fit that underneath. Fantastic. Up to the back. And drop it. Right, now we might have an issue. Will that... No, there we go. Perfect. Right. I need to return this up to the shop. And we can then pick something up to help us transport our sheep back to the farm. Into the shop. We'll just park this up. And with all this done, we uh, can complete the contract. Let's turn the lights off and the indicator. There we go. Right. So, let's have a look at this contract. Over here, 13,154. Collect that. And that is fantastic. There we go. 12,899 off that. So, we're going to go into the shop. And I'm going to rent something now that will allow us to transport the sheep about. Uh, in that, we need an animal transport trailer. Now, I think something like this should fit on our, I think should fit on the landy. Uh, it will take quite a few. Uh, it, we need a BF001 uh, OS, back only, yes, okay and uh yeah no configuration so worth leasing this we'll lease this it's gonna cost us 250 per work day um but that should be fine so perfect right so i'm hoping this is gonna fit on the back of the landy mean that our uh our landy is still useful for for doing this kind of thing should do but we'll see. Right, there we go. Right. Will you hook on? Yeah. Will you do any cables? No. That's all right. Right. There we go. So we uh, now need to head back down to the animal husbandry and uh, grab ourselves some sheep. A lot of what we do between now and March in game is going to be with the animals. With There's not much we can do to progress our vineyard really until uh we well until march comes along and we start planting the vines what i am thinking is we are so close to the launch of the upcoming dlc and it is so very very uh, suitable for doing things on uh on farm sim with vineyards and and things like that that 
probably is a really good idea for us to go and use that on this map. So, uh, yeah, we may slow the episodes on this series down if we get too close to, to needing that kind of equipment. Uh, let's purchase in here. Nope. Let's get some animals from in here. And, right, what have we got? So, um, uh, so I think sheep start producing from day one. Uh, I don't think any of these particularly have a different value other than their initial cost. So, uh, yeah, just don't pay for us age zero months. I think we're gonna we're gonna get the younger ones. I don't mind getting uh younger ones at the moment. Um and I think we might do a mix. Uh Swiss black or black Welsh mountain. I think I'm gonna go with the a more classic colour. Thirteen sheep. Uh, I'm a little bit superstitious, so we will get twelve. Uh, that is going to cost us 2,400. I think 24 sheep is going to be a really good start. So, a couple of trips that we're going to have here to do this. And uh, then we'll have all of our sheep set up. Uh, actually, this is pretty good setup we've got here on this uh, on the landy. I'm quite happy with that. And back to the farm again. Right, our sheep field is at the far end over here. So... We're just going to bring this round here. Oh, this would have been a much better way to bring that in. Never mind. All right, and where is... Uh, sheep field is there. Okay. So back her up. And we'll go and open the gate. That should then allow us to unload our sheep. Now, unfortunately, I don't think this trailer will transport chickens. In fact, I'm pretty sure this trailer won't transport chickens. So what we're going to have to do is get this to those. Yep, uh, move to husbandry. Uh, is get them transported themselves. That's not a huge issue. Uh, we should be all right with that. Uh, it won't cost us too much. Uh, the thing we're going to have to get is a flatbed trailer, though, to transport some feedback. Uh, I don't think we have anything to do that. So I'm going to go and grab another 12 sheep, bring them back here, and then we will get nicely set up with some chickens as well. I actually found a quicker and more direct route back to the uh, farm from our uh well from the uh, uh animal market here which is uh yeah saved me a lot of time getting up here but uh i think i've actually i was thinking about this we've got 12 sheep in our first thing i was worried about the 13 because i'm uh, being unlucky because i was only looking at doing one set but i think what we should do is probably just uh go with 13 of uh, the same again. 12, 13. And then we've got a nice round 25. Uh, yeah. And then we can only buy more sheep from that. There. there we go. So uh, we're down 66,000. Uh, we haven't spent the money that we got from the contract yet. So that's good. We are going to have to spend a little bit more. We need, do need a trailer to carry water to the sheep i think um and we also need a bale spike to feed uh the sheep some hay as well so uh yeah those things need doing too so we're gonna get these 13 sheep back to the farm and then we're gonna get them fed and in no time, we're back down to the farm again. So we've got 66,223 left. I want to take the Fiat up to the shop next. And uh, as I said, we're going to need to get a water trailer. And we're going to need to get a... Oh, wow. Uh, we're going to need to get something to spike the bales. We need to get bale spike as well. 
Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a flat bed to get something to feed the chickens with. And, uh, and go from there after that. Uh, in this goes. Unload it. There we go. And all of you in. Like so. There we go. That is all 25 sheep done. I'm just going to park this on the grass beside it. Uh, so it's going to cost us a little bit of money per day to have that kicking around. But I think we want to try and get some more sheep at some point. And, uh, and it's not a massive amount uh, that we're looking at there. So let's go put this back by the farmhouse. Uh, and then we can go and grab the Fiat here. And yeah, it's still got... I'll park this here. Still got the tines on the front. So let's... Just drop those off onto our rack. Then we can take this up to the shop. And down. down. Ever played this map? Always use that as a rack for my uh, my tines and things. Let's go. Beacons on. And up to the shop. Now, before I get a water trailer here, what I really need to do is double check that that is what our sheep need. So looking in here, animals, sheep, uh, they need, no, they just need food. We're going to need, uh, we're going to need water for the chickens, I think, but uh, no, maybe we don't. I, d I don't think we need water at the moment. We just need a bale spike so let's pop in here and grab one of those and i do love the base game bale spike here here for the front loaders uh really good this uh this bale spike we haven't got any others anyway and it's only 600 so we'll buy that yes okay perfect and so we can just pop over there and grab that that's actually really good. I'm really pleased with the uh, the progress on that. That we're we're able to set up our sheep for so little. In fact, we haven't spent. If you take out the uh, contract, we haven't spent anything on setting up our sheep, which is just absolutely brilliant. Uh, we had to spend a little bit on setting up the chickens, but that's to be expected, really. Uh, we can't have everything. So I have no idea how much feed our sheep are going to take. Let's grab a couple of bales to start, I think. And then we'll go from there. So in we come. Level it out. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. 7,250 litres each of these bales hold. That's actually a really big bale we've got here for the hay. They're not bad at all. Uh, and I think feed goes in here, if I remember correctly. Now, I was going to grab a couple, but it's 7,000. Quite a bit. Right. Forward again, and in... And hopefully that will start. Yep. That's gone in there. Uh, they are at. Wow. Really good. That's uh, absolutely fantastic. That They are well over halfway there off a single bale. What we'll do is we'll shove a second bale in there. And, uh, and yeah, that will be the sheep sorted for a while. Uh, it's actually really, really good. I'm very happy with that. And then it's just chickens. We're going to buy chicks, not full-grown chickens. Uh, they start producing eggs fairly quickly, even with chicks. So uh, that should work out fairly well for us. Yeah. Another 7,250. 
just drop it off the front here into the shed and should end up with some nice healthy sheep right into that see if that goes down any further nope right so that will do there we go and uh yeah we should start having some uh wool produced in the near future which will be uh which will be brilliant in the meantime i'm just gonna go and put this bale out the way and uh yeah we'll go and sort some chickens out so the chickens are in here and uh yeah we can't go and buy them direct so it's between five pound and fifty pound uh they're gonna mature fairly quickly so let's take this down see how many we can buy total 150 is how many we can get in here we can buy 60 at a time for 360. i'm just gonna do that uh twice oh back those again another 60 yes um and because we're not looking to breed any chickens uh we'll just go one more set and 30 will do it by yes okay there we go so uh there they are i expect to see them in here but no they're running around our yard now uh all over the place so that's pretty cool uh we need to get them some food though so time to get a flatbed and time to get um some feed for the chickens as well again no idea how much they're gonna hold uh they're gonna take uh but i think i'm just gonna buy two bags of chicken feed and see how far that gets us so back up to the shop again doing a lot of in cab stuff today kind of enjoying it i think uh, it's, it's, yeah, I go through phases. Sometimes I like to be in cab. Sometimes I like to be out of it. Right. What have we got in? I'm going to look at the low loaders because we have got this one. 15,000 for this transport wagon uh, that we could transport stuff on, which might work quite well. Can't go behind our truck, um, but that's not too much of a problem we got these as well that would go behind our truck fairly nicely that is only eight thousand as well um the alternative is a trailer here and that is the base one here something like this uh with the baler configuration is eleven thousand. i think we want to go and just buy something like this. I think this will do us fine for what we want. Uh, VF1, we will leave on it. We will buy it um, because uh, I think that's the best way to go with this. Because we're going to be doing a fair amount of transport. We're not going to be transporting a lot of stuff. Uh, certainly not initially. And uh, yeah, this will be a good way to do it. Uh, also, it being quite low will work out well for us as well. Um, because it means that we can go and uh, do the... Uh, we can go to a sell point fairly easy with it. That's hooked onto that. And what I'm going to do is just move it around to here. So that we can then get some big bags of chicken feed. And, uh, and get them loaded up. I think arguably we've used the... Uh, different types of equipment on different things here so back in the shop and we're gonna buy ourselves a couple of big bags of wheat yeah chicken feed so a couple of bags of this cost us 1400 there we go oh no already bought them back to our tractor and yeah, there's a couple of things of uh, bags or a couple of bags of feed. And now this is why I've got my front forks on here so that we can just come up here, scoop these up and put them straight onto the trailer. 
and hopefully get our chicken uh, chickens fed fairly quickly. I think having something at the shop here that we can load bags and things on might be quite useful. No, in there we are. Bags up. And this tractor is slightly heavier than other tractors I've done this with. Because uh, in the past, we've just done forward wheelies. Picking up two bags like this. Especially with that little massy we've got on No Man's Land. Uh, that, like this, without a weight on the back, we absolutely would not be able to do this. Right, there we go. And then we'll just hook this on. Tie those down and uh, back to the farm. I'm not a hundred percent sure where my feed trough for my chickens is. I think looking at this, I unload it on, yeah, to the side there. So what we'll do is we'll just pull this up here, reverse this here, try and get this so that they are fairly straight on for me, and we can store this under there as well. Carefully round. Line her up. Turn my beacons off. And I've continued to have them strapped down because I want to uh, get my forks under first. Then we can come round here, unstrap these, and pick them both up at the same time fairly easily. I do love that this tractor can handle this. Right. And then we'll see if they take all of this. Or just part of it. There goes one. And that's the first bag. Can I get a second bag under here? No, those pallets are in my way. Right, let's drop that down then. Put it on to the other four. And see if they'll take the second bag as well. Or whether that first bag was actually enough. Now there we go. Second bag into their feeding trough as well. And are they going to take all this? They might take all of this as well. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. So our chickens. Wow. We are going to have to go and buy an awful lot more food. Because, yeah... That is not enough. Right, back to the shop then. Uh, we probably need another six bags, I think. This might take a bit. Right, back up to the shop. Let's pop in, grab six more bags, and then we can load those up and get them back. So big bags. Uh, chicken feed. There we go. Buy that. Yes. Okay. There we go. Let's head back out here. And yeah, we need to get these all loaded up now. Get my... It's there out the right width. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is unfold the back of this. Right, there we go. There we are. So now I should be able to load them on side by side up the ramp with any luck. And then uh, that should give us a, an easy way to do this. It's getting quite dark. It is December though. There we go. Uh, can we take four? Is there enough weight on this tractor? before no <laughs> no there is not right two at a time it is let's get them loaded up there's something that will have surprised nobody i'm guessing is that tilting the back up uh didn't work so uh i've tilted it back down and we've loaded the chicken feed up and hopefully, we're going to be able to feed all of our chickens with this. So, there we go. I want to get that like that. 
it is getting quite dark it's half past four here on the farm and it is yeah <laughs> it is getting dark i do kind of wish that these straps went through the loops i know it's not really possible with the way things are set up but uh yeah it would be quite cool if uh if those straps strapped through the loops as you probably would in real life back to the farm we'll bring this in we'll try and get as far over here as we can to give ourselves a little bit more maneuvering space we'll take that off and do those yeah it would be very nice and very useful to have something down at the shop that we can uh, unload bags and things with. But we might look at investing something into that. Uh, whether all of this feed is uh, used now, I don't know. But it would be good uh, if we could, like our sheep, get our chickens up to uh, full whack. There we are. Up and out. Right, I'm going to load them up and see how much they'll take. The answer would appear to be all of it. This is our final bag. And yep, emptying it out. Hopefully this will keep our chickens nice and happy. 7,937 litres. Uh, and that is spot on, actually. Uh, so yeah, they take about 8,000 litres total. So, uh, yeah, very, very hungry those chickens get. All in all, though, I'd say that's, uh, that's a pretty successful day. We have got ourselves set up. We, our chickens are here. Our uh, sheep are here. And, uh, yeah, we have an income starting from those two. I think our sheep have been slightly more successful than our chickens today. Uh, I think we've done a little bit better from those. Um, but we'll see what they produce now. I'm not quite sure where the eggs come out. Now oh, that doesn't close with the door. Must be over round here somewhere. Uh, we'll find the egg uh, point at some point. But yeah, they must they must appear somewhere. Oh, actually, do they appear here? I think they might appear here, looking at this. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, just going to turn the lights off on the landy. There we go. And we'll turn the torch back on here. My washing keeps getting in the way. There we go. So, uh, yeah, quite a dark evening here on the farm. So we're going to leave this here, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye.